You're looking at Windows 11 built entirely for performance, using less than five gigabytes of storage. It boots fast. Defender works. Updates install only when you choose to. Microsoft Store opens without issues. This is Tiny 11 21H2, the performance-focused remastered version for 2026, designed to run smoothly on low-end PC while keeping all essential features. Hi, I'm Neil from Apetus. Let's get started. We'll begin by creating Tiny 11 using the Creator tool. Open the Creator from our official website. The link is in the pinned comment below. Once it's open, simply click Build. The tool will automatically prepare your Tiny 11 installer. If you'd rather skip the building process, you can download the Ready Installer directly from our site. Both options are fully supported and easy to use. You might be wondering why we chose Build 21H2. While it's slightly older, it's actually perfect for gamers, low-end PCs, and anyone running demanding software. It only takes five gigabytes of storage, but you still get Defender, Microsoft Store, and all the necessary security updates. It's also excellent as a secondary OS for gaming or testing software without using your main system. Before you start, make sure you have a genuine Windows 11 license. Tiny 11 21H2 works only with clean official setups. No cracks, no hacks, no risky methods. Depending on your internet speed, the process may take a few minutes. Once you see build finish successfully, your installer is ready. One very important note, never download Tiny 11 from any other site. Only use the official creator or installer we provide to keep your PC safe from malware and unstable builds. Next, let's look at Xeno, a small but powerful tool that installs Tiny 11 without needing a USB drive. Xeno comes included in our package. Open it and select the Tiny 11 installer you created earlier. Choose the drive where you want Tiny 11 installed. Make sure there's nothing important on that drive because formatting will erase all existing data. Set the file system to NTFS, confirm your selection, and let Xeno handle the rest. In just a few minutes, Tiny 1121H2 will be fully installed. After installation, restart your PC. You should see a dual boot menu with Tiny 11 listed. If it doesn't appear, you can add it manually using a BCD editor like EasyBCD or Visual BCD. It's simple and safe. No USB-S, no complicated steps. Just a clean, smooth installation process. If Xeno gives an error, or you prefer a USB-based method, Rufus is a reliable alternative. Plug in a USB with at least four gigabytes of space. Make sure it's empty because uh, it will be formatted. Open Rufus, select your Tiny11 installer, pick the USB drive, and start the process. It typically takes five to 10 minutes depending on your PC and USB speed. Once complete, you'll have a bootable Tiny11 USB ready. Restart your PC, press the boot menu key, usually F12, F8, or ESC, depending on your device, and select the USB drive. If you're unsure, a quick Google search will show the correct key for your model. The setup is actually simpler than regular Windows 11. You just pick the drive where you want to install Tiny 11 21 H2. Double check your selection. Everything on that drive will be erased. Language options and other settings are handled after installation. Once done, Tiny 11 21 H2 boots straight to the desktop, clean, fast, and ready to use. If you don't want to reinstall Windows or just want a quick performance boost, try Velotic. It transforms your current Windows into Tiny 11 in just a few clicks. No reinstall needed. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks, one-click Windows de-bloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once. Lifetime speed, zero effort. Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Now we move to the key step, 
turning Windows 11 into Tiny 11. Open Velotic, go to the Debloat page, and press play. The tool handles everything for you. With one click, your system reaches Tiny 11 speed with no file loss and no broken features. You can check the full guide through the I button and the link in the description. Once you're on the desktop, open the Configure app and enable compression. This reduces disk usage by half. It may take a few minutes to complete, but it's highly recommended for most users. When finished, you'll have Tiny 11 21 H2, a fully functional, performance-focused Windows 11 in just five gigabytes. Compare that to standard Windows, which can take 40 gigabytes or more before you even install anything. Tiny 11 gives you almost the same experience, but at one eighth the size, not identical, but faster, lighter, and better optimized. Now that Tiny 11 is installed, let's get online. Open the Configure app and choose the browser you want. I'm using Chrome, but Edge, Opera, or Firefox all work. You're no longer limited to Edge. Which browser do you prefer? Comment below. I read every single one. Chrome installs in seconds with a single click, fully automated. Once online, check out my YouTube channel and our partner channel, and don't forget to subscribe. You'll also find a link to our Discord server in the description. Join to chat with other Tiny11 users, get support, and see early previews of new builds. If your PC crashes or shows out of memory errors, here's a quick fix. Open the Configure app, enable paging files, and restart your PC. Paging files are off by default to save space, but turning them on improves system stability and prevents most crashes. Now let's cover drivers, one of the most important parts. Drivers make your hardware work. Graphics, sound, Wi-Fi, touchpad, keyboard, and more. Without them, some parts of your PC won't function. Tiny11 makes installing drivers simple. Open the Configure app, click Install Drivers, and either choose specific drivers or install all. No risky websites, no complicated setup. Do you need drivers? Absolutely. Gamers and video editors need graphics drivers. Laptop users need touchpad, touchscreen, and keyboard function key drivers. Desktop users need Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and power management drivers. Once installed, your PC runs smoothly and efficiently. Tiny11 keeps this simple, so even beginners can unlock full performance. Finally, why consider premium Tiny1121 H2? Safety first, our official build is fully up-to-date and secure. Free versions online often hide malware. Lean and fast, the smallest, most optimized version of Tiny11, perfect for gaming and low-end PCs. Direct support, one-to-one -one help anytime via Discord or email. Premium Tiny. 1121H2 isn't just a lightweight OS. It's fast, secure, and fully supported. Thanks for watching. This is Apatis, signing off.